वेलकम यू ऑल एंड टूडे टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अनदर मैथड टू फाइंड द रैंक ऑफ गिवन मैट्रिक्स एंड हेयर वी विल डिस्कस द नॉर्मल फॉर्म मैथड और कैनोनिकल फॉर्म्स बेस मैथड इन दिस केस अवर ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू फाइंड द रैंक ऑफ गिवन मैट्रिक्स ए एंड इन द केस ऑफ नॉर्मल फॉर्म बेस मैथड और कैनोनिकल फॉर्म बेस मैथड वी हैव टू ट्राई to reduce the given matrix a into any one of these four forms these four forms are known as the canonical forms or normal forms of given matrix a and the reducing process is we have to deploy a sequence of row operations or column operations or combinations of both row and column operations and our objective is to reduce this matrix a into any one of the four forms these four forms are known as normal forms or canonical forms in which ir is basically the identity matrix of order r so in all the four cases suppose if we reduce the given matrix a into any one of the four forms then the rank of this matrix a is actually the rank of the identity matrix that is involved in the any one of the canonical forms so this method is basically known as normal form based method or canonical form based method and these four forms are our normal forms or canonical forms suppose in this example we have to compute the rank of this matrix by reducing this matrix into canonical form or normal forms so our objective is to reduce this matrix a suppose this is set to be the matrix a our objective is to reduce this matrix in to reduce this matrix a in another form that is b form in which there will involve some identity matrix that is our objective is to involve the identity matrix in this matrix a with the help of elementary transformation and then the order of the identity matrix in this reduced form is actually will be the rank of given matrix so here the rank of this mat the order of this matrix is 4 by 4 so its rank cannot be greater than 4 so the rank of this matrix is less than equal to for that so our objective is to include identity matrix identity for the identity matrix our objective is first to reduce this entry into one using some suitable elementary transformation so this can be done by simply interchanging the r1 and r2 that is first row and second row are interchanged in order to find this place as one so there may be some other options to reduce this entry into one by you can also adopt the you can also apply the operation that simply divide or replace the r1 row by 1 by 2 of r1 so also using this operation this entry is also become one so here we have simply interchanged the first and second row now this entry is one now we our objective is to involve the identity matrix so in first row and first column this entry is one and all other entries in first row and first column are to be converted into zero with the help of some suitable elementary operation so these three entries are reduces into zero with the help of this one by utilizing these elementary column transformation so this entry minus 1 can be reduces into zero with the help of this one by applying the operation c2 plus c1 that is second column is replaced by c2 plus c1 and this entry can be reduces into zero with the help of this one by deploying the operation c3 is replaced by c3 plus 2c1 and this entry reduces into zero by using c4 plus 4c1 so all the entries in first row except the first entry are all zero now our objective is using this one we have to reduce 
all the elements that are below this diagonal entry into zero with the help of elementary transformation so the corresponding transformation can be taken as this two can be reduces into zero with the help of this one by deploying by changing the r2 row into r2 minus 2r1 and this entry can be converted into zero by applying r3 minus 3r1 and this entry can be converted by applying 6 minus that is r4 minus 6 times r1 so with the help of these three elements these three elementary operations the corresponding matrix is reduces into its equivalent form which is basically this form now the first row and first column are as per the identity matrix now in the next case our objective is to find the second diagonal entry to be one actually our objective is to involve the identity matrix so in this case this entry can be converted into one by simply applying the operation r2 minus r3 r2 minus r3 operation yield the result 0 1 minus 6 minus 3 and similarly this operation r4 minus 2 r3 r4 minus 2 r3 result simply reduces the size of the entries of the fourth row and now our objective is with the help of this one we have to reduce all these two entries into zero with the help of column operations then our objective is with the help of this one to reduce all these two entries that are below this diagonal entry into one so these two entries are transformed into one using these two column operations then this is our form and these two entries are converted into reduces into zero with the help of these two row operations now the third now the second diagonal entry that is second row and second column is as per the identity matrix now our objective is to find the third diagonal entry as one this can be achieved by simply dividing the third column by 33 and the fourth column is multiplied by 1 by 22 and this is our reduced form now with the help of this one our objective is to convert this entry into zero so the corresponding operation is c4 minus c3 so this is our reduced form that is this is our normal form or canonical form here the order of this identity matrix is 3 and all other matrices are actually null matrices and which is basically canonical form therefore the rank of given matrix A is the order of the identity matrix that is, that is involved in canonical form therefore its rank is 3 thank you so much